welcome back in this video we're gonna be talking about how integer is stored in computer memory we will also talk about toast complement and the practical uses of toast complement if we have this variable int num1 equals to 25 we know for integer type of variable we have memory allocation 4 bytes and we know 4 bytes equals to 32 bit and if we convert this number 25 into binary then it will be like this okay and here we have 32 bit and here this left most bit is called most significant bit or sign bit if the value of this bit is 0 that means this is a positive integer if we have here 1 that means it is a negative integer for this value for this binary this is a positive integer because we have here 0 now let's consider this is our computer memory okay and then this number 25 will be stored like this way and if we have this program and if we write this program on code block id or in any other id and if we run this program then we'll see the output 25 in your computer memory we have this binary equivalent for 25 how computer friend 25 here whenever program c here percent i then it convert this binary into decimal and then print that all right and then it print 25 the result we see here okay now let's talk about how a computer store negative integer right all right if we have this variable int num1 equals to minus 25 and this is a negative integer right how computer will store it in computer memory and how computer detect this is a negative integer now let's talk about that in this video if we convert this 25 into binary then it will be look like this okay but how can detect this is a negative integer right here we have the most significant bit 0 all right and it's also negative integers for that we have to understand the concept of two's complement all right computer store instead of storing this binary equivalent it stored two's complement of this binary right now let's calculate two's complement for that first we need to calculate one's complement and the one's complement of this binary equivalent is this one right and just we have to do if we have here one then we have to write here zero if we have here zero then we have to write here one okay in order to calculate tooth complement we have to add one to make it tooth complement and and this is the tooth complement of this binary number here we see we have one right this binary number will be stored in computer memory if we consider this is our computer memory right then it will be stored like this for minus 25 we will have this binary number in our computer memory and here we see we have one and the most significant bit or sign bit one means this is a negative integer and if we have this program how it's print minus 25 when we try to print a negative integers first computer will convert this into binary number then make it two's complement and the two's complement will be stored in computer memory right whenever program c we have left most bit one that means the sign bit one then it detect that this is a negative integer then in order to find the value we have to find the two's complement whatever we have in our computer memory if we calculate two's complement of this two's complement then we'll get back this binary number now let's see if we can get that first let's calculate one's complement and this is the one's complement of this two's complement and then let's add here once to make it two's complement and this is the two's complement of this two's complement and that is 
equivalent to this binary number right and then computer will calculate this number then here it will get 25 right because here 25 is the equivalent to this binary number right and then computer print here minus 25 and that's how tools complement work in programming right tools complement is the way of storing and detecting negative integers i think now we have a clear understanding now you might ask hey barik what if we have a positive integer that have left most bit one that's a great question for a positive integer right and there have no chance to be a, to be one for left most bit for a positive integers this is the maximum number we can store in 32 bits right and if we convert this number into binary then we will see this is our binary equivalent and here we see the leftmost digit is zero so there is no chance to be one of the leftmost bit for a positive integers all right i think you're understanding and this number will be stored like this way and here we see here we have the most significant bit or sign bit zero so this is a positive integer all right now i think you have a clear understanding of how computers store integer whether it is positive integer or negative integer all right guys thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one Bye bye